Today's video is how to adjust your elevator to flat mix on the fly. So let's get started. This method can be done with the NX10 and the NX8 because those transmitters have the L trim and R trim adjustments. Normally when you're setting up a flapped elevator mix, you will have a call out in the book, but if you don't or the call out is not making your airplane fly correctly, then you may want to adjust it. Normally how you set this up is you go up, go on the downwind, deploy your flaps, see how the airplane reacts. Come around, land the plane, do the adjustment in the flap system on the ground. Go back up, go on the downwind, and you just keep repeating the process until you get the final result that you're looking for. However, what I like to do is go up, deploy the flaps, adjust them on the downwind, see what kind of adjustment you need, use this process I'm about to show you, put the flaps back up if you want to, or you can leave them down, go around to the downwind again, see how the plane's reacting, or you can do it you know, when you're making a pass in front of you. The main thing is you just want to keep the plane moving at a consistent speed and you want to see what the plane's doing. You don't want to be going through a turn looking to adjust it or, you know, going, uh, you know, around in a different direction. You want to keep it just as simple as possible. Come on the downwind, make a pass by the runway. Come on the downwind, make a pass by the runway, and you can keep adjusting it. However, this is very efficient because you can adjust it. And a lot of planes, I can make one pass on the downwind and have my elevator mix exactly where I want it. So what you do is you push enter and you set up a mix. I want to go to flap system first to show you we don't have any percentages in the elevator. So when we go to half flaps or full flaps, you notice we've just got our percentages and down here on the monitor the flaps moving. As we go through this process I want you all to pay attention to the numbers down on the monitor so you can follow along on what's going on with the different values. Let's just back up, go to mixing, go to normal, you go to the first part and you can either use L trim or R trim. I personally like to use L trim because I'll be you know pulling the elevator in the direction that I need and then letting off the elevator and adjusting it so I can keep my finger on the L trim and I can keep my two fingers on the elevator and I can adjust them together. So let's go into LT. If you want to use the right trim, you just change it to RT. And we want it to be an elevator mix. Both the rates need to be positive 50%. Offset, you're going to leave it at zero. And then the switch needs to be the same switch as the flaps. Mine's set on D. So go ahead and toggle D. And then down at the bottom, you need to have the box highlighted for the flaps you're going to use. For example, half flaps is one, full flaps is two. You can't adjust both at the same time with only one trim. So if you wanted to adjust half flaps and full flaps, you have to use left trim and right trim. And in just a moment, I'll show you how to set that up. So right now we're concentrating on full flaps. So we need to unhighlight zero and one. You'll see that the percentages also go away as well. When I go to two, the percentages are there. Now, I'm going to back up and go to the flap screen so you guys can follow along with what I'm doing. So we take off in the airplane, we go on the crosswind, and now we're on the downwind, we deploy our full flaps. We notice that the plane, once the flaps are completely deployed, it's wanting to go in a nose down attitude. So we need some up elevator. The easiest way to remember how to tune this while in the air push the switch in the orientation that the nose is moving. If the nose is moving down, push the switch down. If the nose is moving up, push the switch up. Down until we get the nose in a level attitude or if you want it to be nose up or a little bit nose down, you'll just stop 
trimming once you get to the attitude you want for the airplane. So we're going to push down 10 times just so we can see a bigger variable down here on the elevator. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You notice that it says minus 10 on the elevator. Now watch when I go to half flaps or flaps up. You will notice that the elevator will change to zero. Now when I go back to full flaps, you'll notice that that minus 10 is still there. So here's how you convert it over to your flap system. You come down and land, you've got it set up for full flaps. But what you want to do is change over the percentage from the mix to the flap screen. So what you do is you see that that's minus 10%. So that means we need to go into position two and adjust this to minus 10%. You notice now it says minus 20 for the time being. Go up top, zero out the added percentage that's still in there from the mix. What I mean by that is you need to take out the minus 10 from the left trim mix because you've added the minus 10 into the elevator. When you get to that point as well, let's say you didn't keep track of the numbers or you forgot what it was now that you've already added this percentage, all you need to do is move the switch until you hear the centering tone. I'll count to nine and then on the tenth one, I'll stop counting so you can actually hear the beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there you have the centering tone. So now that we've done our in-flight tuning, we can transfer that over to minus 10 here so we get the same results. Full flap deployment, minus 10%. You do the same process for the half flaps. The only difference is you need to go back into the mixing, click on mix one, and you need to change the number down at the bottom, unhighlight two, and highlight one. Now we can adjust one. Let's say in this scenario we only need minus five percent. So we go up in the air, we deploy our flaps, it's still nosing down, and we end up putting minus five. Come down and land, go into our flap system, put minus five. Again, it's going to bump up to 10 because it's going to double what you have in there. However, when you zero out the left trim, it's going to be like normal. So basically what you're doing is in this whole process is you're finding the percentage you need to keep the plane in the attitude that you want and you're transferring it over to the flap system. Once you've done that, you zero out the trim. So as I mentioned, we got negative five. We need to back this down five clicks and it'll do the centering beep once again. Now we're set up when we go to half flaps and full flaps it'll go to the adjustments that we have found in flight. As I mentioned earlier you can set both these up at the same time if you want. The only difference is you go to mixing and you add another mix just like the one we have there but you put it on the opposite trim so we were using left trim we're going to add right trim so RT elevator both of these go to 50 percent as well you got a switch you're going to put it on same switch and you set them to the opposite switch positions for example on mix one we have it set up for position one so when we go here left trim is going to adjust the elevator mix for position one so we want to set RT for position two so go down unhighlight one you want to unhighlight zero and you want to highlight two. So now when we go to position two, it's adjusted on the right trim. If it's a plane that has 
a good flight time and you can adjust both of them on one pack that's great some airplanes for example jets they have a low flight time so you may want to adjust your full flaps landing flaps first and then your half laps or your takeoff flaps second so that's how you set up your in-flight adjustments for your elevator to flap mix i hope you all learned something new today or enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and push the like button if you want to see future videos subscribe to the channel while you're here i appreciate y'all watching and i'll see you on the next one